What's going on lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are continuing with the Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay and we are about to get into whatever training is. Uh, yeah, we're going to figure that out. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like on the video to support the channel. Subscribe if you want to see our future content and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, what is this? Training grounds. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is... You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together and help complete the Pokédex. Your partner? Yes, here. This is my partner. P oh, you got Pikachu. Nice. What? That's not what he's supposed to say. Uh, when we were attacked by those Shanks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner has refused to listen to anything I tell him. Ooh, he lost his respect. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him. How to guide him in battle. Higa. That's so odd. <laughs> uh, when I saw how you and your Pokemon worked together, I realized we needed to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. All right. I'll mess you up. Survey Corps Zakari challenged you to battle. Zakari sent out Pikachu, even though he was already out. Uh, okay, paralyzed. You can work with that. Uh, let's do fire. Ooh. Ow. It's paralyzed and unable to move. Pick him alive. Let's go. Pikachu was murdered. Good job, Cindy. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Yep are the best move master that's what i'm talking about heck yeah Ooh, thanks for battling us I could be wrong but for a moment i felt like pikachu and i finally understood one another let's keep working at it okay pikachu i guess i was wrong then <laughs> but i'll try to work more as a team with my partner the way you do assuming pikachu and i can bridge some gaps Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Yep. Oh my god. That's a lot of shapes and symbols. Uh, both Pokemon and moves have types. The type matchup between a move and his target Pokemon determines how much damage is taken. Moves can be super effective, effective, not very effective, or completely ineffective. Here are some examples of type matchups. Fire type is good against grass. Grass is good against water. Water against fire. Yep. So you're the one? The one uh, that new recruit everyone's talking about? Yep, that's me. What up, homie? The name's Zizu? Zizu? Oh, gosh, that's a funky name. Uh, Captain of the Set Corps. See, so you've got some fighting you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu. Is Zizu. Captain Zizu is a master of the ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Alright. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. Uh, on the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. Okay. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Interesting. Strong style moves, Agile style, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is the right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Okay. Cool. Uh, what's your Pokemon has mastered a move? You can have it use move in either the Agile or Strong style or pressing right or left um, when selecting the move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these extra styles simply by leveling up. 
Agile style reduces the power of the mave, raises the user's action speed, and uses more PP than usual. Strong boosts power, lowers speed, uses more P than usual. Okay. Uh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Okay. Sizu's teachings could, should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. And I suppose it's time I went to meet May. Uh, you remember? I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with May's request. Yep. I'm um, to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well once you've ready your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zizu if you'd like. All right, cool. Request from May. We'll track that one. Oh, it's already active. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. What do you got? Create the training grounds. Pokemon can master moves or learn new ones. Hello there, Survey Corps recruit. Did you need something for me? I want to master moves. I want to exchange items. Okay. All right. So let's see what. So which darling Pokemon do you want me to tutor? Cyndaquil. Uh, he has a flying move. How does that make sense? He can get rest? Oh, it makes him drowsy. Whoa. That's crazy. All right, we're not going to get nothing for now. Uh, we should go to our Pokemon, though. Because a bunch of them got moves, uh, change moves. I got a rock attack. Attack uh, rolls into the target to deal damage, then becomes fixated on using this move. Oh, ooh, that doesn't sound good. No, I just want to go back. Uh, okay. Uh, none of them will have too many moves, so we're actually fine. Oh, you're running out of stamina. Okay. I was not expecting that. Didn't I also have... Uh, let's see. Map? What is that? History gifts? Ah, we'll mess with that later. Oh, man. I forgot to go to the map. Is it this? Yep. Okay, so... Trading pose... Oh, we turned all those in already. Okay, so we can just move on. Cool, easy. Yep, we're going on to the Obsidian Fieldlands. What's going on? Boo! Did that surprise you? You actually did surprise me. I was trying to anyway. Uh, there's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. What? It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Ah, I've heard of this. Being a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or give you an advantage once the battle starts. Oh, even if I used it on one of my Pokemon. Okay. Uh, hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of successful catch or to gain an advantage when starting a battle. That's called the backstrike. Cool. Part of the survey core now, working to create the Pokedex as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplished that. Thanks, homie. Got a mushroom recipe. Oh, you're that boy from the survey core. He fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. Ooh, interesting. Call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. Hear the talk of the village. People see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are. I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All I have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to go get the cream ingredients for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forage is as thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One spring of mushrooms all you need. I'll be waiting. All right, cool. So I need to go over here because we need to make some Pokeballs. Craft. Um, 
Let's see. So that's the great ball. We could make some potions. I have eight. Don't have any revives. I haven't seen that item yet, though. So let's just make all of those. And I have eight of those. So we'll probably be fine on that for now. Oh, hello. Hmm, that marvelous rich tone. How is it produced? I must know. What? Oh, uh, hello. Didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps. Wonderful. Just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketote. Uh, you must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I'd be in your debt if you could complete Cricketote's page in your Pokedex and show it to me so I, uh, I mean, we could uncover the truth. Okay. Is there something on top of that? Ah, we'll pass. What is that? Oh, I have a Cool, cool, cool. What's going on here? What? you blocking my way? There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're at first. Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety. You find yourself in trouble. What up, homie? Hi, hi. Over here. She's got a cool outfit. Hey, this is Murph. My, my, oh, my, my, new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me May. I, what? You like the Elite Four? I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. Such talk and wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Oh, yeah. My Pokemon are dope. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. Oh, dang. This here's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. Battles on my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. All right. I'm going to kill your Pokemon. Uh, Ember. Oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot how to spell styles. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, no. That was the opposite of good. All right. He's fixated on roll. Um... What should we do? We could do Shinx. We'll do him. And then we'll try. Hi. And so if I do. Oh, because he hasn't mastered the move, he can't change it. So yeah, he can do strong style there. Let's just do another bite. So he's probably using strong style rollout, I'm assuming. That's why he didn't get to attack twice. Or that's why I did get to attack twice. Battle decided. Oh, that was a lot of XP. Dang. Mun, you really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well thought, Munchlax. Yeah. All right, I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. It's very kind of them. I'll let you have these. Uh, you people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? You should prove to be useful materials. What you got? Oh, nice. Vivichokes. Now we can make some uh, revives. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. I really like the legendary hero of old. The one who we tell stories of to our children. Who's that? That's the story I want to hear. Uh, I think you're indeed the one for the job. See, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. Oh, great. 
It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To do track heights? Uh, <laughs> Our phone is beeping. The thing you have, it's showing you where you, you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions you're hearing about? Eh, not really. It only does seem to show the way to do track heights up, up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it. This is your job. Uh, seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. I am the most important member. So, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Uh, nope. I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty St Sinnoh steers all time. Oh. Said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. This hand of Hisui was born in, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We have the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it's still away from the world lo long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tears tales are to be trusted. There is still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Ooh, okay. Follow me, and you may understand. All right, let's go. What the heck is that? You can't see me. Nope. Nope. Get over here, you little thing. What the heck was it? Hey. Uh, wait, how did that not register? Well. All right, got some double stone. Turn around, homie. Maybe I can just come over here. And get the stumble stone real quick. Alright, let's be very sneaky. You see nothing. Uh Okay, crooked to That's pretty straightforward. Is that kind of the back shot? Let's go. Heck yeah. What is this? Oh, is this one of those revive plants? Yep. All right, cool. Oh, you got a quest. Wait. Oh, cool. Uh, let's cook them. Oh. Well, that did more damage than I was expecting. Will another one come out? No. That's too bad. Oh, bro. Geodude. Uh, do, do, do. cool. He's got a lot of stuff he can do. Um, and he's a good chance of getting caught. Get that crit. Let's go, homie. All right. Now back to pick up the quest. Oh, there. Mind helping a guy out? I'm out for some cherry berries. You know, I'm the shiny red ones. The girl on some of the trees around her, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, my homie. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure your Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in it. Uh, give him three berries. All right. And let's talk to him again. Oh, could you give me three berries? Sure. Here you go. 
He handed over three berries. Thanks. Now then, here's that handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near your wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Okay. Uh, why not give it a try on some of the Krikato around here? Cool. Heck yeah. And we got 15 Pokeballs. Totally worth it. All right. Let's go fight a alpha Pokemon. You see nothing. Nothing at all. You staying in there? Heck yeah. That one should be a capture too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello. Number of heavy specimens. Nice. Oh, is this the one for heavy balls? Nice. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm not going to bother with him right now. Is this the thing? No. Oh, God. All right. We're doing this. Um, is fire effective against rock? Nope. Roll out. Not effective. And he's fixated, so that's good. Uh, let's see. We'll do... That's not what I want. Yeah, switch them out. And then... Bite? All right. Cool. And let's fight an alpha. Hopefully this doesn't go horribly. I don't know if I actually battle them or not. Hello? Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. He what? What up, homie? Ooh, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. Now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've uh, long come to play, pay tribute to a special Pokemon. Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Yeah, la, 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 la. Whoop. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with this racket. Ooh, yep. That is some noise. That's what you're here for, Murph. To drive the inner looper from this place. Inner looper. Uh, I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Thank you. So I guess we are fighting. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across land if they're all oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They're strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you're stronger still than this alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Careful, Murph. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. You must face it make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. All right, Alpha Pokemon. Pokemon with whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Okay. So we can catch them. That's cool. And let's switch to... Cyndaquil. He's kind of the safest bet. Can I pick that up? Nope. 
All right, homie. I'm gonna mess you up. My God, he's big. Get him, Cyndaquil. All right. Press the Y button during battle to check the action order of all the Pokemon currently battling. What? Uh, this shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns based on their action speed. Action speed of a Pokemon is based on its speed stat, but it can also be affected by certain moves and items. Pokemon with a high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. Alpha Kirkatoon is filled with something. Jesus, Aerial Ace. Oh my god. So, okay, it's just back and forth. Uh, wait, I didn't want to run. Um, shoo, Syndicate was about to get wrecked. Oh, maybe not. And he was burned. All right, your sacrifice is worth it. Hurt by burn. Uh, let's just pull out. Hmm. Let's pull out a uh, Yuzel. And can we catch him? Or maybe we have to kill him first. Let's just see what happens. You want to throw a Pokeball? All right. Is there any chance of actually catching it? No good. He did go in the Pokeball, though. Hey. No, 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 no. Aqua Jet. Need Aqua Jet again. It's HP restored. That Pokemon's out of here. Hurt by burn. All right, and we'll pull out Starly. And we'll try another Pokeball. Come on, buddy. Join our club. Ooh. Oh, gosh. All right, you know what? Uh, let's do strong. Bust him up, homie. Yeah. Lots of XP. Oh, one can evolve. So apparently if you want to catch them, it needs to be during the battle. Really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. Yep, that's me. Uh, but from the future. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Ooh, what is that? What in the world? What up, homie? It's Simba! Hello, king of all that can be seen. Looks upon you with kindness, Murph. Let me just stare at you. Oh, okay, bye. I say the great white ear has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanse of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. Human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor Lavington Oak. Merch. Oh, you came out here. Captain Siley and Kylene sent me. She said that once Merf carries out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Nice. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adamin and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to, is it truly fine for us to set up a camp like this? Hisui region is land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. 
As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The Great White Area has taken a liking to Murphy as well. This is a good sign. Yeah, my thanks for what you did today. Our cleaner will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with the proper reward as soon as I can. Oh, heck yeah. So. If you want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. Heck yeah. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set up out from our village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Heck yeah. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help to on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say we all head back to the Wallflower. Uh, yeah, didn't get many Pokemon this time. Thousand bucks, though. I'll take that. Hundred and seventy. All right. Cool. Benny, old chum. Usual potato mochi, please. Make it for three today as well. All right. We all heard the grave news. The frenzied cleaver from the rumors ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. Uh-oh. Metalcore has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, uh, this is a cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is ordered, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to take the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure, sure Murphy can handle things just fine. With my level 12 Pokemon. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver is so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Dang. All right. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. The next day. Good morning. You should hurry to the commander's office before it decides to use you for sumo practice. All right, let's go to the commander's office at the beginning of the next episode because we're all out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider dropping a like on the video to support the channel, subscribing if you want to see our future videos, and I'll see you all in the next one.